Hello! In this video I will show you how to work with Anti-Detect browser that you can use for multi-accounting at Power. First of all, obviously you need to download it. You can download from the official website for Windows or Macos. I have Windows, so I installed the Windows version. Let me explain you tabs first. Top left – New Profile. Here you can create new profiles. We will return to this a little later. Next – Profile Management. Here you can work with all created profiles. You can sort by groups, filter as you like. And on the right you can set which columns to display. Not everyone needs all the information on profiles. In the Group Management tab, as you understand from the name, you can work with groups. Create them and then work with profiles in each of the groups. Next – Application Center. This is a pretty handy tab, because it allows extension to be automatically added to your profiles without searching them in Internet. But remember that if you are working in the trial version, then the extension will not work. You only need to upgrade to a paid version or install them yourself from the extension store. Next – Recycle Bin tab. Here you will see all deleted profiles. This, I think, is also clear. RPA tab allows you to automate processes. This is also quite convenient, because you don't have to do the processes monotonously manually, and everything can be automated through the browser. For example, you can automate accepting Facebook friend requests, like all Facebook posts and more. Also, you can work with TikTok, YouTube and in other networks. The interface is quite clear, and if you click Create a Task Flow, you can quite easily understand how and what to configure for the specific tasks that you need to automate. It's pretty simple. You can automate account farming. Other tabs in RPA allows you to fully automate the processes by setting a schedule and plan of all actions. And you can also see all details of the task in a separate tab. Next is Data Reports. In the Facebook Access Token tab, you can connect your tokens from Facebook and add advertising cabinets. And in Ads Power Report, you will see statistics for all your advertising accounts. And there is also a tab for those who work with Amazon. Order reports can also be viewed here. What is AP I think is clear. No need to explain. But if you don't know, then by going to the tab, you can read the explanation about what it is and how it works. Cost Center displays information about your balance, detail about orders, information about limits. In the Permission tab, you can add new members of groups, administrators, users with different permissions. In the Operation Log, you can monitor your activity or the activity of your buyers in this account. Just open the tabs and all information about the logs will be displayed. I think it's clear with tabs. If you spend 10 minutes of your time, you can easily configure how everything works, because the interface is quite simple. Now. Let me show you how to create an account. Click on New Profile. As you can see, all the information of your account is displayed on the right. And if you make changes, on the right you will see the real data. So, set a name. Then, select a group, if you have created it. If not, then leave it unset. Next, you can select the operating system that will be displayed during your operation. Leave browser fingerprints as they are. In the proxy section, set your proxy. I strongly recommend you to get a proxy for multi-accounting, so that you will not have any problems with your IP when working. Personally, I use proxies from the iProxy online service, which allows you to create your own mobile proxies using your own phone. It is very convenient and reliable, and I recommend you. Enter all information in the proxy fields. When the proxy is entered, click Check Proxy to check if it is works. Below, in the Account Platform section, select for which platform you are creating account. In my case, I choose Facebook. Below, set your account information and set cookies. When everything is entered, click OK. Profile appears in Profile Management. Now let's run the created profile. Click Open. As you can see, the proxy passed the test and the sites are accessible through the proxy. The Facebook page through the proxy is up and running. Now let's check the fingerprints on the pixel scan net in the browser. As you can see, they passed the test. Everything is well hidden and you can work. Now let's see how RPA works using my Facebook account as an example. We will also add in the description a link with full documentation on how to work with RPA, so that you won't be confused. Let's go to Processes and select, for example, Like on all Phoebe posts. Don't forget to give a name. In the window that opens, you can change the data as you need. When all the data is indicated, press Add. Now go to Created Profile, select it, press RPA above. And in the window that opens, select the created process. Then press OK. You can now go to the browser and see how all posts are automatically liked. When the task will be completed, the profile will be closed. As you can see, everything is done automatically. So, this is an excellent anti-detect browser that allows you to work with multiple accounts on a variety of sites and automate all processes. And this is a huge plus. 
If you have any questions, then write in the comments, I will answer. Also in the description will be a promo code for a discount on Ads Power. That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click like.